The only moment you don't enjoy is the one that you're not conscious of. Be conscious of this moment of bliss, this moment of ecstatic joy, because it's all that's fucking real, dude. Your disappointment is not real. It is a figment of your imagination. It is the result of unbelief that is rooted in a dual consciousness. This is all that it is. When we have disappointment in our existence. It's literally because we're trying to create something from our past into a non-existent future. The only time disappointment ever happens is when you're not present in the now. When you're truly present in the now, you're never disappointed. You're always perfectly satisfied. So desire this moment above everything else. Desire the ecstatic pleasure that is found right now that's found in the I am consciousness desire the unspeakable joy that's discovered in the here and the now bliss is here now for the one that is present the all present one the true self the I am nature remains in this moment is not ever found in your yesterday is never discovered in the non-existent tomorrow it's always found in the here and the now. So if you're present, I'm talking about truly present in the now, in this moment, in the I am, then you will be experiencing this moment as bliss, as joy. Your, your baseline emotional place that's uh, manifesting in the personality, in your person, will be bliss. It will be joy. It will be happy. So when you embrace the moment, all the disappointment turns into adventure. The mundane into magnificence. The monotonous into spontaneity. And consciousness of this moment of bliss turns loss into gain. It turns distraction into focus and irritation into peace because that which is not or that which is not found in this moment cannot exist in that which is. So all of your disappointment disappears. I hear this question often. People are always posing this question to me. They say, how does someone become conscious of this moment? And so I'll ask you, how does a dog bark or a squirrel climb a tree? The dog never considers why it barks or how it barks. It simply barks because it is a dog. The squirrel isn't trying to be conscious of how to climb a tree. It's not thinking to itself, I wonder how I got up here so high. No, it just is there. It climbs because that is part of its very nature. And so I'm asking you right now, does the one who's born of God, the one that is of God, the son of God, the daughter of God, the God himself, the I am nature, is it ever to have to consider how to be present? If you believe yourself to be a simple, mere human being, this temporal being that's here, to, here today and gone tomorrow, and then you will ultimately struggle to be present in this moment. And you will ultimately worry about your future and strive to live a decent life before finally you die. Because see, a dog believing in squirrel, believing that it's a squirrel, will never, able, will never be able to just be. And in the same way, a God believing it's a human being, believing it's a temporal being, will never simply be. And to just be is to be present in the here and the now. You are born of I am. You are born in this moment. This moment is all that is real. In this moment, you are conceiving of many, many hundreds of thousands of things. Everything that you see around you has come out of this moment. It's come from the eternal moment within. It's come from a conscious state of existence. And all the dual things that you see around you, the good and the evil, will still come from a present moment, but an unaware of present moment. And so, I simply want to finish with this. You are... I am. You are the one that was and is and always will be. What you truly are. I'm not talking about the person that you believe you are. I'm talking about what you truly are. The true self. And it is in this place that you live and that you move and that you find being. You are free to just be. It is your nature to be conscious of this moment of bliss. Of the now. And of I am.